Hi guys, um, this is Mr. Chaga. I'm a professional teacher for accounting. If you're watching this, you are definitely at the right place. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also that you leave your comment on the comment section. Please don't forget, guys, um, to make sure that you share this lesson with your friends and loved ones. Uh, with that out of the way, let's get into the lesson. In the lesson for this evening, we're going to be looking at how to calculate accumulated depreciation. It's a very simple but complex uh, calculation for some students. So we need to make sure that we try to get it so that you guys can understand. Now here, they're saying that the following balances appeared in the books of ZZ Traders on 30 June 2003, uh, which is the end of the year. So the beginning will be on the 1st of July 2002. Very important. And they're saying that the vehicle that appears in the books of business is as follows. At the beginning, they had a vehicle for 45000 And then on the 1st of October, they purchased a vehicle for 54000 Now, remember our year starts um, from the 1st of July, right? 2002. So this first one was definitely with us for the entire year. So when we go to its um, table, we should not read this drag so like i said when we go to our table we should not really struggle so let's get into the uh, the, the information in here what they're saying here they're saying the calculated depreciation for the year ended 30 june 2003 so the, our end of the year is 30 june 2003 and then the vehicles is depreciated at 15 percent per annum on the cost price the other thing that you need to know is the alternative names if they don't want to say cost price they'll say fixed or straight line so you should not be surprised when you see such weights so let's start with the first one the first one was bought um at the beginning of the year so obviously it was with us for the entire financial period so what we need to know when we calculate depreciation um you need to know these things you need to know um in terms of cost price method you need to know what is your cost price in that case our cost price was you also need to know and then our it according to here um they said it's uh 15 percent so meaning that it's um 15 divide by 100 and then we also need to know what is our time in average how long was this asset with us out of a period of 12 months how long are we depreciating it and then according to here um it's 12 out of 12 because this one was with us uh at the beginning of the year so time would be 12 out of 12 so when you calculate depreciation it's going to um, we're going to say um, 500 multiply by over 12. now this with us uh, from of all the years um, the depreciation will be the same so if you say um 45 000 and then you say multiply by 15 divide by 100 is going to give you 6 000 750 so meaning that the depreciations for this um for the first year and the second year the depreciations were 6750 so we're going to have our depreciation here at 6750 accumulated depreciation will be um the same because this was bought in the same year okay now when we go to the next year um the depreciation will also be the same here which is 6750 remember the duration is the same for both years okay now 6750 multiplied by 2 it is giving us 13500 if you add this plus this it will give you 13500 so meaning that accumulated depreciation um at the end of that two years is thirteen thousand five hundred, and now we are going to move to a different example now in this example what we need to check um firstly is when was the new asset bought that information is given to us um from the ledger account here they said it was bought on the first of october so meaning that it was with us from october november december january february march april may june we need to know how many months are this one two three four five six seven eight nine so it was with us for nine months so when we calculate that depreciation well, for the first year we're going to say um fifty four thousand multiply by uh 15 divide by 100 and then multiply by 9 divide by 12 and it's going to give us um, the depreciation for the first year so if we say fifty four thousand 
multiply by 15 divide by 100 and then multiply by 9 uh, divide by 12 it is giving us 6075 so meaning that depreciation for the first year was um 6075 so that 6075 will come here 6075 accumulated will be the same 6075 because at the beginning this asset did not have any depreciation so obviously whatever loss that it had in that first year will be the accumulated depreciation at the end so now in the second year this asset was with us for the entire 12 months so when we depreciate we're going to say I'm um, 54,000 multiply by 15 divide by 100 and then multiply by 12 over 12 and it will tell us uh, how much we get so if you say um, 54,000 multiply by 15 divide by 100 it is giving you um, depreciation to the value of 8,100 so meaning that um, our depreciation for the current year here it's 8,100 and then obviously the sum of these two uh, previous depreciation plus uh, the, the latest accumulated depreciation the sum of the two will give us um, the accumulated depreciation at the end of the year so let's add this and this and see how much it gives us so 8,100 plus 6,075 it is giving us 14,175 so this is how guys you deal with accumulated depreciation the most important thing is that you must make sure that you understand your timeline when necessary draw it so that um, it will be easy for you to understand if this lesson has helped you thank you so much for watching um, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and I promise you that should you join our channel our channel you are not going to charge to be charged anything for that subscription so thank you so much for uh, watching guys may God richly bless you shalom